Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to be talking about how to win a home in multiple offers. So uh, what's interesting about the market this year is that in different price ranges, we'll have either a seller's market or a buyer's market. And so you may find yourself in a market at 9 p.m. on a Friday night and there's multiple offers. This video is designed to give you all the tools you need to be the one that wins in that scenario. That way we can help you get the home you want. So let's jump in. Uh, let's take a look here. We've got how to win in a seller's market. This is an article I wrote a couple of months ago when I started seeing our seller's market heating up. These are the top five things that are important to a seller when they're deciding which buyer's offer to select. So the first one here is to bid strongly and be prepared to back it up. Here's what I mean by that. If you need to bid $1,000 over the list price to be the one that wins, know that right now, every $1,000 that you raise the purchase price, it's only going to change your monthly payment about $7 per month. So this is the first thing that a seller looks at. It's how much money will I net if I accept this buyer's offer? So be confident, write a confident offer if this is the house you want, because we're only talking about $7 a month. Number two, use a local lender with a great reputation. This is the second thing a seller is going to look at when they're making their decision on which buyer's offer to accept. And the reason for that is because a strong offer with a weak lender puts the sale of their home at risk. Right now in our market, one out of every three transactions that do not close with Cornerstone either don't close on time or never close. At Cornerstone, our average is less than half of 1%. So the sellers know that if we are sending over a, a Cornerstone pre-approval letter, it means that it's a guaranteed close. They're going to have great communication and that they should select your offer, even if it's a thousand or two less than the other ones. So part of our value to you is a strong pre-approval letter designed to influence the seller to accept your offer. The third strategy here is when you're bidding above the list price, the appraisal is key. So let's talk a little bit about the role of the appraisal. This represents a rising market. This blue line is, is similar homes that have sold over the past 12 months. And this orange area represents this month's bid price. So this is maybe what you would need to bid this month to win your home in a multiple offer situation. And the appraisal, it's going to be based on this blue line, which is the older historic data. So because the appraisal is based on this older historic data, there may be a difference between the value that the appraisal gives and the value that you bid in order to win. So you're a savvy buyer. If you want to do a strategy called an appraisal gap strategy, which says in the event that our home does not appraise for my bid price, I would be willing to cover X thousand dollars of this appraisal gap. This gives you a competitive advantage. It makes your offer stand out as being a strong offer and lets the seller know you're strong enough that you're able to cover some of this appraisal gap risk. So that's the third strategy. If you're in a place where you can do that, that can really help your offer stand out. The next one that we'll look at is a non-contingent offer. And what this tells the seller is, I'm a strong buyer. You should select my offer because I don't need to sell a home. You don't need to wait for me to find a buyer in order for you to sell your home. And so at Cornerstone, we have ways to make your offer a non-contingent offer. That way you can get the home you want and you can sell your existing home later. It's just kind of a way to, to separate the stress and the finances of purchasing versus the stress and finances of selling. And it gives you a competitive advantage in this market. And the fifth one here is be flexible. And so what I mean by this is anytime in any transaction, the seller is going to have needs that might be different from yours. They might be building a home and their biggest pain point or their biggest concern is if there's a delay on the home they're building, they don't want to have to scramble and move twice or find an Airbnb. When we're able to find that out, you can put in the only offer that solves their biggest pain. And that could sound like, you know, we can close in two weeks. So you, the seller, you can get your money. And if you need to, you can even rent this house back from us for up to two months. That way you don't have to move twice. And many times 
This is a huge deal to this seller, especially as we're coming into the holidays. They might have a goal for their kids come home from college and they're all in their new house before Thanksgiving or Christmas. These things can help your offer stand out as the only offer that helps them solve their biggest point. So the reason I did all this is because winning a home in this market, that's, that's the biggest thing. So here are five strategies to help you do that. If you have any questions, call, text, email, we're here for you. And we are thrilled to help you get your next home. Take care. We'll see you soon.